Hey, hey, what's up guys and gals? Today is Cocktails and Computers, episode one. Today, we are pairing a classic mojito with a pie hole installation on true NAS scale. And that way you can enjoy your tasty mojito ad free. And to top it off, I'm a bartender in the greatest city in the world, Las Vegas. And who doesn't enjoy a tasty cocktail while you're working on your computer? And guys, if you don't know this, my name is Mike. I love technology, I love networking, I love computer builds, I love TVs, gaming consoles, all things technology. If you enjoy these things as well, make sure to hit subscribe and the bell notifications. And while you're there, give a thumbs up and share this video. So let's get this pie hole installed on true NAS scale and stop those annoying ads. But first things first, let me show you how to make this classic mojito. And you're gonna need five ingredients for this mojito. You're gonna need fresh mint, limes, sugar, soda water, and rum. And that's a silver rum, not a dark rum. First thing we have to do is add eight to 10 mint leaves to a muddling glass. Then add a quarter wedge of lime, and then you wanna muddle all the ingredients for about 30 seconds. Then add a tablespoon of sugar and two more lime wedges. And then muddle again for about 30 seconds. Next, add one jigger of rum, and then next, add some ice. Then you wanna to top with soda water. And then pour into a nice cocktail glass. Make sure to give it a stir and put a mint leaf on top for garnish. Mm, that's great. So now we can install pie hole on true NAS scale. Mm. So first, log in to true NAS scale. Then go to the apps. Then click on discover apps. You want to scroll down until you find pie hole. Then next, click on pie hole and select install. The next step is the pie hole configuration. We'll start at the top and you want to name your pie hole. I chose my pie hole. Next, set a password and don't use password for password and check to make sure that the time zone is correct. If it's not correct, set the correct time zone. And then scroll down and you're going to notice the web port for the pie hole. You can change that, but we're gonna leave it. You can also configure DNS settings, but we're not gonna do that. So now hit install, and the installation process will take a few minutes, so be patient. And in the app screen, you can see PyHole is deploying. Once again, give it a minute or two, be patient. Once PyHole is running, we can now enter the web portal. And now enter your super secure password, and you're now in pie hole. And take note at the top of the address bar for the IP address. That's the IP address of your pie hole. And we'll have to go into the router settings to enter that IP address. So head over to your router settings and you wanna look for DNS settings. My DNS settings is under the LAN tab, under DHCP server. So under DNS server one, that IP address must be the IP address of your pie hole. Whatever IP address was in your address bar, type that into the DNS settings. You can leave DNS server two blank if you want, but I chose Cloudflare. This blocks adult websites and malware. Pretty cool. Your IP address for your TrueNAS scale server is the same IP address as your pie hole. And that IP address has to be a static IP address so you should assign a manual IP address in your router for the pie hole server. However, if you set up true NAS scale properly, you would have already done this because a true NAS scale server has to have a static IP address. So now make sure to apply all the changes and go back into your pie hole. And I'll show you the block lists and domain block lists. And there'll be links in the description to where you can find all these block lists. And at the end of the video, we'll test and see if the ad block really works. And we're gonna test a couple websites. And just a heads up, if you use Google Chrome, go to the browser settings, then privacy and security, and then security tab, and make sure secure DNS is off. If it's on, the pie hole won't work. So keep this tab off. Now first thing, go to tools, and then update gravity. Now go to add list. Here's where you add all your block lists. And Pihole already comes with a block list installed. However, we're gonna add quite a few more. And here's how you do it. You wanna go to firebog.net and copy and paste each green link 
under add a new ad list in the address bar. Then hit add and then rinse and repeat. Do all of the green links. And you can also do some of the blue links as well. Next, go to domain management. And from here, you can block specific websites. And because I wanna block adult websites, I typed in specific websites so they're not accessible. One last thing you wanna do is go to settings and go to DNS settings. And under upstream DNS servers, you wanna check mark all the Cloudflare for IPv4 and IPv6. Remember, this also blocks adult websites and malware. And the last thing you wanna do is go to web interface. And from here, you can change the theme and layout. I do like the Star Trek Picard theme. It's pretty cool. So now lastly, let's check and see if the ad blocker works. We'll go to msn.com and you can see no ads. And now we'll go to speedtest.net and no ads. Pretty cool. So guys, that's exactly how you install a pie hole on TrueNest scale. So guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, and for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And we'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.